welcome again to this tutorial on circle theorems if you are joining us now check the description section of this video on our youtube channel for our first video and other videos on circle theorems in this video we'll be looking at theorem on angle at the center and circumference of a circle so we take the theorem the angle that an arc or a chord of a circle subtends at the center is double the angle it subtends at any other part of the circumference so we look at these diagrams then we look at the first diagram that's diagram one um, if you look at this this is the arc of this circle is a minor arc this arc is subtended by angle b degrees at the center of the circle so the corresponding angle at the circumference is a degrees so by this theorem b is 2a so the angle at center is double the angle at the circumference so that is for diagram one from diagram two also this is a chord this chord subtends angle y degrees at the center if you look at this the lines accommodating x degrees both originated from the two ends of the chord so the x degrees here is the angle at the circumference of the y degrees which is at the center so by this theorem y is equal to 2x and that is the diagrammatical explanation of this uh, theorem on circle geometry so we look at some problems for problem one calculate the values of x and y in the diagram below um, from this diagram we can see that x z is the arc of the circle center o and the angle subtends by the arc at the center is x so and the corresponding angle at the circumference is y since both x and y are unknown it is possible for us to find the value of x using the principle of angle at a point an angle at a point is 360 degrees therefore we say x is equal to 360 degrees minus 210 degrees the reason being angles at a point and that will give us 150 degrees from here we can now find the value of y since y is at the circumference and the corresponding angle at the center is x so we have y equal to 150 degrees divided by 2 that is angle at center is twice angle at the circumference if you look at this term ideally if we have x and we are looking for the angle at the circumference we divide by 2 but if we have angle at the circumference and we are looking for the angle at the center it is then we multiply the y by 2 to get x so 150 divided by 2 gives 75 degrees so we have done justice to problem 1 and we go to problem 2 for problem 2 in the diagram O is the center of the circle PQRS PSR is 76 degrees calculate X Y and Z now again we study the diagram carefully in studying the diagram we have two angles at the circumference the opposite sides of the circle and also we have two angles at the 
center. So we need to study which of the angles are related to one another with respect to the theorem under review. So from here now, if you look at Y and Z, Y and Z are interior angles of the quadrilateral PQRO. So they are not connected with respect to angle at center and angle at the circumference. So Y is connected to the other angle at the circumference. So from here we said, uh, the angle at the circumference here is connected to the angle at the center. Therefore, we have y equal to 2 times 76 degrees. The reason being angle at center is twice angle at the circumference, which gives 152 degrees. Since we've gotten y, we can also use the principle of angle at a point which sum up to give 360 degrees. So we have X now equal to 360 degrees minus 154 degrees. The reason being angles at a point. So 360 degrees minus 152 degrees gives 208 degrees. So we've gotten the value of X and invariably x is connected to z with respect to angle at center and angle at the circumference therefore z equal to 208 divided by 2 that is angle at center is twice angle at the circumference this gives 104 degrees so we have done justice to problem 2 we go to problem 3 for problem 3, in the diagram below, O is the center of the circle LMN if angle OML is 28 degrees, calculate angle LNM. So what we are saying here is, um, this is circle LMN and the angle OML, OML is 28 degrees we are to calculate LNM LNM so this is the angle we are to calculate here and uh, since we are to calculate this angle and it's at the circumference uh, the corresponding angle at the center is this that is LOM now we need to calculate that first to enable us calculate LNM and to do that we should look at from center to this place is the radius from the center to this place is another radius so we can look at this LOM as isosceles triangle with base angle 28 degrees so from there we can say OLM that is OLM the second base angle of the isosceles triangle is equal to 28 degrees the reason being base angles of isosceles triangle then from here now we can calculate the angle LOM so angle LOM is 180 degrees minus 2 times 28 degrees that will give us the sum of angles of a triangle since this is 28 so 28 times 2 will give us the sum of this and this so LOM is 124 degrees that is we have gotten the angle at the center so it's connected to LNM so that's angle LNM is equal to 124 degrees divided by 2. The reason being angle at center is twice angle at the circumference. This gives 62 degrees. And that is the end of solution to problem 3. We go to problem 4. For problem 4, in the diagram below, O is the center of the circle ABC 
the obtuse angle AOC is equal to 150 degrees and angle ABC is 3x degrees calculate the value of X um, in the diagram O is the center of circle ABC up this angle AOC AOC that's the angle inside the quadrilateral we have said it that since they are both interior angles of the quadrilateral ABCO they are not connected with respect to angle at center so what we do now is we are going to calculate the reflex angle here to enable us get the value of x which is related to this 3x so reflex angle AOC is 360 degrees minus 150 degrees the reason being angles at a point this will give us 210 degrees so since we've gotten that this is the angle at center now and it is connected to this 3x so the angle at center is 210 degrees is equal to 2 times 3x the reason being angle at center is twice angle at circumference so from here 2 times 3x gives 6x equal to 210 degrees so dividing both sides by 6 we have x equal to 35 so we've done justice to problem 4 and this is the highest we can take for this uh, theorem the next theorem is on the next video check the description section of this video on our youtube channel ordinary resources and get the video please remember to hit the subscribe button of this channel thank you until we meet you again in the next video bye